Hey everybody, Phil Rowley here. Welcome to my tying bench. Today, we're gonna to tie the albino, a great coronamid pupa pattern first shown to be by my good friends down in California. When fish are fixated on dark coronamids, this is a pattern you wanna have in your fly box. So come join me, and I'll show you how I tie it up. <laughs> The albino, like most coronamid pupa patterns, is a simple fly to tie. Here are the materials you will need to add a few albinos to your Stillwater fly box. So we're now going to tie the albino, a fly with California origins that works well throughout the uh, western North America. So into the vise I've got um, a uh, this is a Daiichi Alec Jackson crystal covered uh, nymph hook in a size 11, which is really a size 12. The size 13s are a 14, so I would tie this even as big as the 9, which is a number 10 when the trout are focused on bombers, big emerging pupa. If you haven't got those, you can certainly use a Daiichi 1760. Um, and you can also use your, your standard um, curved scud pupa hooks uh, for a different look as well, such as a Daiichi 1120 and probably as uh, big as an 8, but probably 10 through 14 or 16 is a good range. Uh, onto the hook, I've slid a 764 white bead. It's a uh, very brilliant white bead. It's not a pearl white, it's a pure white. And then to help build up bulk, we're going to use uh, UTC 140 for our tying thread. So we're just going to start that, get that started, trim off the excess, and then build a nice thread base all the way down. The bead wants to come along and then back up. Now you can certainly um, make this fly entirely out of thread, and I believe that's what the original was, was just wine-colored UTC thread, either the 70 denier or the 140 denier like I have here. So we've just got that base wrap down. So now we're going to tie in the ribbing, and the ribbing in this case is UTC wire in small and black. It's a very subtle rib on this, it really blends in, but it just provides enough contrast and break it. Just simply works. So we're just going to tie that in. I'm actually going to stab in the tag end of that wire into the bead to help position it. And then we're just going to again secure this down the shank. It's a very simple fly. Like I said, you could just make this out of thread uh, body, but we're going to add a little bit of shine to it through the use of buzzer wrap for our body. So we're just coming back up again. So I'm just going to pull down. I've, I've, I've uh, spun the bobbin counterclockwise to flatten the wraps. And now we're just going to build up the front third of the fly with thread to help build up a subtle taper. And I, I like my coronamids quite skinny, so that's uh, why I like this UTC 140 to build up thread. It's thick enough that it's not going to cost me volumes of thread, but I also have a modicum of control uh, that when I get the body to where I like it I I can stop. So there's the underbody. I'm, I'm happy with that. I tend to lean towards skinnier underbodies. Um, I'm just going to add maybe a few more wraps at the front here and then I'm going to actually whip finish and remove this tying thread and replace it with a rusty brown thread uh, that we're going to use to finish off the fly uh, because the rusty brown thread when we build up the thread thorax right at the back of the bead will help that coloration will help suggest the wing pads coloration of the uh, natural coronamids. So for the body we're going to use again you could use a thread body on this you could just literally wind your wire up coat it and you've got yourself an albino. 
but we've also been using some of the buzzer wrap and again this is the dark claret coloration um, and I cut a little notch in here and I'll just isolate just like you would with flashaboo pull a long single strand out tie that in and I'm going to secure that in place right at the can my failing eyesight <laughs> wrap that back and now I'm just going to start winding adjacent turns one right next door to the other down the shank to where the wire is hanging at the rear of the hook be careful of that hook point And I like you could use two strands, but again, you run the risk of building up unnecessary bulk. And the beauty of over wrapping materials, you've probably seen this on my other Coronamid videos as well. Um, you get the opportunity to cover up any gaps that you perhaps left on your way down the shank. And also, when you over wrap a material with itself, it adds in an element of durability. So, we're just going to come right up to the, where the brown thread is hanging. Tie that off, a couple of wraps to tie it off, and then maybe one or two in front to lock it in place. Come in with my fine point Dr. Slicks and nip that off. And now all we're going to do is wind the ribbing. Again, the albino is a very simple but deadly fly. So I like to put a wrap right at the base of the body. It just helps protect the back of the body. And then just start winding forward. Nice even wraps. The goal is probably to get seven body wraps, but in these longer shanked hooks, it's not always possible. Just get into a nice rhythm right up. And again, I've secured that right against the back of the bead, two over top, a couple in front. That's locked off. Helicopter the wire away. And now all it's left to do is to build up the thread thorax. So I'm just going to count, spin the bobbin counterclockwise and I'm going to want to build a thread thorax that extends no further back maximum the width the length of the bead but I usually like it to try and go half or three quarters of that and when you're building up thread thoraxes behind beads you want to do it gradually you don't want to pile all the wraps in all at once and build a very steep thread slope if you will you want to build a nice gentle taper up to the back of the bead because if your your thread slope if you will is too steep when you go to whip finish, those wraps will probably all tumble down and uh, you won't get that nice tight finish you're hoping for. So now we're just going to three or four wraps, disengage, and the tying portion of your albino is complete. So again, that rusty brown thorax just suggests the wing pad coloration of the natural coronamid pupa. And now all we need to do is color it up. So we're going to use some of the Solaris Bone Dry very thin resin that dries tack free and it's just got wonderful flow just the right amount of viscosity it doesn't run all over the place really lights up that, that fly that, subtle, that black rib is very subtle um, but really stands out and I've got a little bit of let me just roll that around until I'm happy with it I'm come in with our Solaris light and this lights kind of cool because it's it's got a two-stage if you double click on it if I can make it work it uh, It'll actually alternate see how it alternates pulses because you will sometimes see a little bit of smoke coming off your fly And that's nothing bad per se. It's just when you hit uh, Anything with a little bit of energy. It's going to create sometimes some heat So if that bothers you having this alternating uh, light beam going on and off helps eliminate that. It doesn't really affect the fly at all. So that's within about 5-10 seconds the stuff is cured hard as a rock. And I see a little a little tiny thread. Something's drifted into the mix here. Trim that away. And there you have it. The completed albino. Subtle and deadly. Just the way you like it in the chronomids. For more information on fly fishing and still water fly fishing in particular, please visit my website at flycraftangling.com. Here you will find fishing tips, fly patterns, articles, information regarding my seminars and schools, along with links to my blog and mine and Brian Chan's online still water fly fishing store. You can also visit our store directly at stillwaterflyfishingstore.com.
While you're visiting my site, please join my mailing list to receive my educational newsletters. You can also follow me through my social media channels. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and give this video a like. Please take the time to watch my other videos as well. Thanks for watching.